This was a conical tower and circular wall of Great Zimbabwe. It was constructed from 1000 to 1400 CE in southeastern Zimbabwe by the Shona people. This was a picture of southern Zimbabwe where the Great Zimbabwe structure was built and where many of the Shona people still currently live. Here are three images of the conical tower and circular wall of Great Zimbabwe. On the upper left hand corner is a far off shot of what the outer wall would have looked like. The lower middle picture is a frieze that was on parts of the wall going about halfway around. And on the far right is a picture of the conical tower. The Shona are a part of the Bantu ethnic group who are native to Zimbabwe and the surrounding countries, although most of the Shona populace currently resides in Zimbabwe. Most of their religious beliefs center around a creator god known as Mori, whom they communicate with through the spirits of their ancestors. They do this because they do not believe themselves worthy of speaking directly to their god. In their day-to-day -day lives, many of the Shona are farmers who raise crops such as maize, which is a main staple for them, and rice. They also raise cattle, however, its main purpose is to show the prestige of a family to act as a wedding dowry. They also do ironwork and pottery, which are considered some of the most finely crafted in the area. Another aspect of their day-to-day -day lives is magic and witchcraft. They are often used to explain natural disasters and community problems. They also believe in two types of spirits, the shade who are outside spirits, and a type of ancestral spirit. Either of these spirits can be harmful or benevolent to the humans around them. The structure consists of two parts, the conical tower and the circular wall. The circular wall is 36 feet high and 820 feet long. It is built in a curvilinear style and is considered one of the best preserved archaeological sites in the region. It is also the largest stone complex built in modern-day Africa. It functioned as a housing unit for the elite members of the Shona who lived there with their families in huts separated from the other families. It was also considered a religious and cultural hub for all of the Shona people. The circular wall appears defensive, but upon closer inspection it would have functioned poorly as a defensive wall. The wall was meant to symbolize the power and authority of the Shona elite, rather than to protect anything. Conical Tower is 16 feet in diameter and 33 feet in height. It was built between the old wall and the new outer wall at the end of a 180-foot long parallel passage. It served as a granary because the Shona rulers distributed grain as a symbol of their protection. The entire Great Zimbabwe structure was abandoned around 1450 due to what many believe was food shortages. The first comparison piece is the walls at the city of Cusco, which are located in the central highlands of Peru and were constructed in 1440 CE. They can be compared to the circular wall at Great Zimbabwe because both were constructed using no mortar, rather the stone bricks were cut to fit perfectly into each other. The second comparison piece is the city of Machu Picchu, also located in the central highlands of Peru, which was constructed from 1450 to 1540 CE. It can be compared to the entire structure because both were built for royalty and to house the elite of the respective cultures, as well as serving as a hub for culture and religion.